Howdy. So, uh, last yeah, several months you've seen a whole bunch of time lapses from me. Um, and this right here is my time lapse rig I built. Um, this is a maker slide rail system right here. Um, and uh, all the parts for the rail come from them uh, wheels, all that type of jazz. Um, the electronics and the motor and stuff I basically scrounged and figured out myself. Um, motor came from eBay and I'm using an Ethernet cable uh, to go from my controller box over to my uh, to the to the slide. Uh, I use a Sony A77 for this um, and I have an external battery pack uh, so I can fill up this card before the before it runs out of power. Uh, the controller box actually controls the camera's shutter. Um, so like in my night time lapses, um, I put the camera into bulb mode and um, it uh, it will um, the controller box will set the shutter on and off. Uh, for a day shot like this where the, it's pretty consistent, um, I'm actually just using one tenth of a second um, out of the controller box and letting the camera do its thing. Um, I'm doing an HDR shot because I'm going to go from very bright to a shadow and I'm hoping that the HDR will be able to compensate um, with two stops uh, of light difference. Let me show you how I control all this. So this is my controller. I built this box here. It's based on an Arduino. I'm powering it off of an 8 amp battery and I have a little um, uh, amp meter so I can keep track of all my settings. So basically this does all the work. Um, I can set how long I want to record for, how long I want the, the rail to travel, and um, how long I want it to, uh, the, the output to be. So here I'm going to go for a 25 second video um, and record it over an hour. I figure it would take about an hour to do this, um, give or take. So a lot of it's guesti guesstimate work, you know, having to figure everything out. Um, you know, how long you want it to be. Uh, you know, this is going to be over a thousand photographs um, to make that 25 second video section. So, uh, once I start the video uh, recording, uh, which will be when we get ready to do this, I will, uh, I'll come back and show you how it all works. Okay, so I am, uh, started the, the recording on my, um, time-lapse rig. And it's hard to tell now, but it's actually moving a little bit in between each shot. Let's see if I can get close and you can maybe see it or hear it. It actually ramps up. So those I'm actually taking two cycles because it's processing and for this HDR. I'm using a JPEG instead of a RAW, but it'll work. So I'll have half as many pictures and the video will only be about 15 seconds long. So I'm gonna let it run the way it is. If this was something really important, I would uh, I'd stop and start it again. But I want to get on the staining project out here. So we're gonna stain this half of the uh, building. Just like we did the back. Make it to work. So we're almost done here. I'm gonna let this video uh, time lapse finish up. It seems like it's taking about three shots that HDR inside the camera is taking longer than I had guessed. So it takes three movements. It might only be a 10 or 15 second uh, time lapse this time. That's good. I mean, last time I had a, a really long time lapse with a GoPro. Um, this will be a much shorter one. And uh, yeah, you can see how I create the time lapses. Um, 
I'll end the video with a time lapse I did last night of the stars. Um, that was a three hour time lapse and it comes out to 12 seconds on the final video. Um, yeah, like I said, you gotta plan things ahead. It's a lot more uh, before you start, yeah, before I start. But the nice thing is once I get these things set up, I can kind of set them and forget them, which is what I need out here. Because uh, I have work to get done. So, oh yeah, and the, this controller box, the uh, I didn't mention who makes that, um, the circuit boards. This is a guy in Sweden, um, and it's called a mini engine. Um, I'll put a link in my um, description. This is a mini engine 2, and I'm running um, his Beta 5 firmware right now. And this has been running for 40, you know, 35 minutes maybe right now. Um, the battery was about half empty from last night, and I'm down to 12.22 volts. Um, that little motor is using about a half an amp uh, at 12 volts. So, like I said, there's a lot of things to keep track of to get all this stuff right. But, uh, I'll do some more videos on how the software works inside the uh, controller later on. But you can see here how it's moving three motions for each shutter. Two motions for each shutter. Just because the HDR is taking long to render in the camera, I didn't guess long enough. And the camera is on full manual mode, manual focus, manual exposure. So you have to figure all that stuff out too. And if you're shots are going to change, you got to plan in time in your motions to um, to change the settings. That's why I tried the HDR so I wouldn't have to and really the sun moved enough that I probably wouldn't have had to do it anyways. So yeah, I'm going to go finish up the painting and then we're going to play with the wheel horse some. Until next time. Thanks for watching.